<laughs> Alright, that's where we're sitting right now. 45 resistance, which means I have 55 levels before I hit max. Let's keep going. Now, had I missed the tail axe the first time, well, first of all, life would have been miserable, but I could have gotten it from him. Fortunately, didn't have to do that. Hey guys. Oh, you see that? It flew right off the edge. That was awesome. Okay, onwards we go. No, don't do that. Come on, man. I don't even know. Alright, we're gonna try Ornstein and Smo. This is gonna be one of the most difficult fights in the entire run. In fact, I should probably go do something else first, but whatever. We're gonna try it. Good news is it should be two hits to stagger Ornstein if my calculations or estimations are correct. What are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, two hits, not bad. Oh, okay, whoops. I didn't expect there to be a follow-up there. Oh, you. The only thing that is saving me right now is that two-hit stagger. That's like the only thing that is making this tolerable. Oh, I thought I was just slightly out of range of that. Yeah, better not get greedy. Go, a couple good hits there. Swing. Do the follow up. Good. Maybe like one hit? Maybe two, but I think it's one. <laughs> well. Shows you what I know. Okay, should be simple from now on. I only got three flasks. I'll probably get one shot by the jumping attack. But other than that, we should be okay. I'm just going to run as soon as that jumping attack comes out. Oh, or I could stagger out of it. That works too. Good to know. So it's like three hits to stagger? Well, thank you. Oh man, that one was close. Should have been a stagger, I thought. Alright, come on. Whew. Okay, that was a tough one, but we got it second try, so can't be too sad. Yep. That 
Okay. So, uh, now that we've killed Ornstein and Smo, there's something else that I can go do as far as upgrading my weapon. I didn't want to do it yet because of the resistances, so let's head over to the Golem. I'm going to go ahead and do Lightning for this, which Ornstein is strong against Lightning, so that's why I didn't do it then. Let's see if I have enough. I might not have quite enough. Yeah, I need one more chunk. Which... Should be simple enough. Anyways, that's not bad. I shall. Uh, now, we're going to go into the painted world because I got another bit of equipment to get. Gosh, leave me alone, <laughs> what? Okay then. I shouldn't have just tried to run past, obviously. Alright, you. Plus five, alright. Good thing about lightning here is that it does not rely at all on scaling, so it's just raw damage, which is what I need, because my stats are all so low that any scaling-based damage is going to be awful. Alright, so there's some more stuff I need to gather in here, and then we'll do Priscilla, and then we'll leave here. Okay, what I need is that. Safe. <laughs> so the blood shield also increases all of your resistances. So that's that's the increase we get from the gargoyle tail axe. That's the increase we get from the blood shield, so if we put them together, pretty significant. And, fortunately, the Blood Shield also just happens to be a really, really good shield all around. So I'm happy with that. Wonderful damage now. The only real issue we're going to have, besides the fact that I have no health, so, you know, a couple hits from whatever is going to kill me. Um, the issue that I'm going to have is that... Hold on, that gave me fat, or a uh, medium roll. There we go. The issue I'm going to have is enemies that are resistant to lightning. That's going to be a problem. And unfortunately, Gwen, the final boss, is one of the enemies that is resistant to lightning. So uh, we're going to have to figure out something for there. I do have a little bit of a solution that I've been thinking about, so we'll we'll see. Okay, so before going on to Priscilla, there's one more thing I want to do, which I should be able to jump to there. Good. I'm going to get some new armor. Alright. Painting Guardian set has the highest resistance. I, I think it does, anyway. The highest resistance of any light armor set. So for that reason, I am equipping it. And I'm talking total resistances, like, you know, certain ones may have, like, like that, for instance, has higher bleed, but that's also heavy armor. Just in general altogether has the highest of any uh, any light armor set. And fortunately, I can still fast roll while I have it equipped, so... Whatever, we'll just warp back, I guess. Oh, look at that damage! Wow. Why does the hurry to warp thine death? 
Yeah, look at that. That is really good damage. Oh. <laughs> Why? Well, she uh, certainly showed me last time. <laughs> let's uh, let's try not repeating that. Hmm? Okay, I got a bit of a plan, so let's talk to Laurentius well, here. Made... Uh... Yeah, what? Good. Oh. All I needed. Goodbye then. So let's let's equip this pyromancy flame. And now I'm gonna run down into Blight Town, and I'm gonna grab Power Within because that's gonna get me some extra damage on bosses. Yeah, let's do it. how uh, high my resistance bar is now. It's pretty nice. Pretty confident I could eat a few of those toxic darts and be just fine as well. Yep. Oh yeah, look at that. Nothing. Wow. Okay, Power Within is still a little bit of a ways away. Okay, behind the creepy leech thing. Brace your ears for some crazy unpleasantness. Ugh. Alright. So let's go, uh... Let's head on down to Ceaseless now. Okay, so I think I have enough damage that it's going to be faster to just kill him normally, rather than do the whole, you know, knock him off the edge thing. I think. Ooh. Oh yeah, look at that. Super nice damage. Of course, if I get hit, he might one-shot me, but, uh, <laughs> well, we'll worry about that if it happens. Yep, yep. Okay, so, change of plans. We're gonna knock him off the edge. I think I can still do it, even though I aggroed him once. Lava. Yep. Yep, we're good. Now I just run back to the start, and then can knock him off. Okay, get his big jump. See ya, buddy. Shall we just go straight on through to the next area? I think so. Alright, I got power within now, so let's give it a shot. Remember, that should be like a 40%, I think, flat damage increase. So this should be pretty good now. Um, yep. Oh man, look at that.
Now imagine if I red tear stone ringed it, but that might be a little bit dangerous. Or a lot of it dangerous. Easy peasy. Alright, get over here, you. Wow. I'm quite impressed by that. He's not, though, clearly. I mean, considering the fact that I have not upgraded any, like, attack stats, that is incredible damage. Which goes, uh, just goes to show you, you can really build your character any number of ways and still be effective. Granted, literally any other way than the way I'm doing it right now would have been more effective, but hey, it's pretty good. Pretty good.